Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Uh, getting some pretty impressive reports out of places like Warren, uh, reports of street flooding. An example would be Vernon Street. I uh, get a report of two inches of rain in Warren over in just a 40 minute time span. That is a tremendous amount of rain. Reports of some street flooding. Now, if you can do it safely and take some photos, you can send it to report it at WPRI.com. Report it, lowercase one word, at WPRI.com. Let's go to Life Pinpoint Doppler 12 Radar. I've been uh, tracking and monitoring the situation very closely here. Now, this is the kind of weather setup where not every community is getting a heavy downpour or a thunderstorm. I would say probably 80% of our viewing area, there's, there's no problem at all with, with flooding and thunder. But for those locations that are getting it, the areas of orange, red, and gold, on Doppler radar coming down very, very hard. So we'll take a radar tour. The problem with this whole complex right here, these deep colors of red and orange, heavy thunder, lightning and downpours, it's really not moving. It's been staying generally in the same area and why we're getting reports. In some cases of significant street flooding, I had a report in uh, Bristol, um, of, of water as high as the fire hydrants on some streets. So this is moving very, very slowly. And that's the problem with these heavy downpours is that they're overstaying their uh, locations. You can see up further to the north up in Rehoboth right now, some very heavy rain that I'm tracking right now, really kind of, kind of staying in one spot. A uh, numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes. I'm going to show you the lightning tracker very shortly. And this one area in the southern part of the state has weakened a little bit, but it's still somewhat of a healthy downpour in the southern part of the state, uh, getting ready to drop towards Narragansett very shortly now towards the campus at uh, URI. Take a look at uh, the flash flood watch, meaning all areas in green have the potential for flooding, but not all areas will see it. This is until 9 o'clock in the evening. And the flash flood warning continues in this small area shaded in pink. It includes uh, Bristol County, uh, in southeastern Massachusetts, in Bristol County, in Rhode Island, Barrington, and Warren. This whole air general area, including Fall River. I know, Shannon, was it Globe Street? Uh, yes. And Globe Street in Fall River uh, reports of some flooding as well, where they've actually blocked off uh, the road in some locations. Heavy downpour in Warwick right now. These are live pictures from Oakland Beach in Warwick. The parts of the Warwick area have been getting hit hard with heavy rain. So no surprise here. The threat tracker high through at least 9 o'clock in the evening. And this is what pretty much what we're highlighting here. We're scattered heavy showers and some thunderstorms, downpours. Actually, I would get rid of the word brief here. Some of these have been stalled over the same area. Some light quick localized street flooding and rainfall rates of at least one inch or more uh, per hour in some of these storms that are just very slow moving. <sighs> Look at this. This is downtown Providence and you can see, uh, yeah, some of the, the darker clouds that are overhead uh, right now in some of these heavier thunderstorms. Most of the activity has been south and east of the city, but I certainly wouldn't rule the Providence metro area out of getting another heavy shower or thunderstorm. That is a very impressive picture. Temperature now coming in at 81 degrees down in Narragansett. I'm watching that one area headed your way shortly, so it's not raining there now. Numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes embedded in some of these uh, heavier downpours, especially points uh, south and east of the Providence area. Once this cold front passes through later on this evening, drier air behind it will work in. So I would say now till about at least nine o'clock in the evening, the threat for isolated strong uh, showers and thunderstorms. Once we get beyond say nine, 10 o'clock, everything is fine. It's a beautiful day, both Thursday and Friday with much lower humidity. Overall, not bad for Saturday, partly sunny, though I have included an isolated uh, thunderstorm temperatures in the 80s and then partly sunny skies on Sunday with attempts uh, in the low 80s. Uh, Bristol County, Rhode Island, Bristol County, Massachusetts right now getting hit very hard. Report it at WPRI.com if you can take pictures safely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Tony.